Let's hear from uh, Joel Embiid and Trey Young. Joel, we saw at the end of the game the double pump fist there with you were excited. You guys ended on a 7 0 run. Your basket gave you guys the final lead. How do you sum up the fight at the end of this game? I mean, we're down about 500 million worth of contracts. Uh, so we just knew we had to come in there, you know, starting on the defensive end, uh, getting stops, and obviously. We struggled in that second quarter, but uh, we picked it up. Uh, so I'm glad we got the win. And, you know, uh, obviously it's only regular season, but, you know, my excitement, uh, I was really happy because, you know, as a team, we lost to last year. So anytime, you know, we can beat them, uh, you know, and I'm still mad about what happened last year. Now you got two wins against this team this season. You exerted a lot of effort and a defensive play at the end there. We talked a lot about how you're working back into your conditioning. I saw you putting your, your hands on your knees a bit. How do you describe how you felt throughout this game? I mean, it's tough. Uh, you know, like I, like I mentioned, you know, about a week ago, uh, you know, it was a struggle. Uh, you know, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, so... Uh, it's taken me a while to kind of get back to myself, but, you know, I put in the work every single day, and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how bad I'm playing, uh, especially on the offensive side. Uh, I think I always make it up, you know, with the defensive side, and, you know, that's what I've been doing all season, thanks to my teammates, too. I mean, you got to give credit um, to them. I mean, I think it's a little bit of both. We had some shots that just didn't go in, but also you got to give credit when they're playing playing hard and um, playing physical and um, I mean it's just how it happens sometimes they're just they, they are physical to us in the fourth quarter um, rest let them play and it just kind of happened. All right let's talk about Philly a little bit here it, it has been a struggle between the Ben Simmons situation and Joel Embiid's absence uh, Tobias Harris missed some time Matisse Thibel missed some time they are scratching and clawing for everything they get right now. I will say the two, I would say, staple, staple guys, the two guys that anchor them right now for me is Seth Curry and Tyrese Maxey. I think both those guys have been there, and whatever record they have right now is because of those guys. But I will say everybody else is always next man up. Mm -hmm. They have played extremely hard, but you just can't figure it out. And that's without the Ben Simmons situation. Right. It's just no Tobias Harris. And, and Joel Embiid is just – Hopefully he can have a healthy run, you know, and, and because they need him to set the tone because everything falls in place when he plays. Yep. You got to double and triple team him. He's so skillful. It just opens up the court for everybody else. Without him, it, it's just hard to see, see the Philadelphia 76ers going no further than just a second round. He was their high scorer tonight. He was their best rebounder tonight. Uh, he had four assists as well, best plus minus. As well, this would this is how you wind up on MVP ballots second last.